Okay, take 78. So, I have, uh, I have this little keyboard here for this 6502 distraction project. Anyway, uh, I gotta map it out. I gotta work out the wiring of it. So, instead of doing the uh, multimeter method, um, I'm uh, trying something new. And uh, this is the circuit. So, what the idea is, is that uh, all these LEDs are gonna be lit normally. And uh, what we're gonna do is take one of the lines from the keyboard and uh, Lock them to five volts, one at a time. That'll turn out an LED. Well, in this case, okay, that one, whatever. When you push a button, it'll knock out one of the other LEDs, depending on which row or column it connects with in the keyboard. So, demonstration. Uh, I'm on uh, the first pin right now for it. So as you can see, normally it'd be on, and, uh, that, uh, that snuffs it out on the keyboard. Uh, let's see what I can do here. So if I go through the buttons, and uh, right there, see? So, let's see if I can get this both in the same shot. So this is telling me that I've got columns on the last five lines in the keyboard, and that this See, if I try to push these other buttons, it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, the, uh, and that this is, uh, this is the first, first column. So, if I now move this over a row here, okay? And then, uh, see, that'll, uh, that'll stop this from doing anything. Now, if I go down here, that tells me it's row two. Now I know that next pin is row two. So that's cool. And then you just kind of go through and find out all your rows and columns. And uh, on, uh, on keyboards on keyboards like this, uh, the rows and columns aren't that straightforward. They're pretty much random. So, But, uh, yeah, so there's, um, there it is. I, uh, I managed to find all my rows and columns for everything. And, uh, yeah. Catch you later.